everyone, welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about the SU-12244, Tier 7 Russian Premium Tank Destroyer. So let's get right into the stats. This was just recently buffed in the 7.4 update, which on the day of recording is the first day of the 7.4 update. So first of all, your penetration was recently buffed quite a bit, like 20, maybe 10 millimeters, which is a lot. And so, the gun aiming time, it's a 122 implies the two in the name. So your aiming time is okay at 4.1. Your dispersion is not really good. Your damage per minute is actually quite good. And your reload time is good. Your penetration is quite great. Your premium, uh, I'm running calibrated, so standard 205 is really good. Your average damage is high. It's about standard 400 for all those 122s. Only four degrees of gun depression, which can be a little annoying. But your concealment is okay. So, let's now get back into... Okay, your engine power, so you're pretty heavy, and uh, your top forward speed is nice, so you have the uh, chassis of a T-44, and you're quite fast, it's a nice 48 kilometers an hour top speed, which is really nice. Uh, so, I mean, your whole turn rate at 46.78 is really also quite good, people won't be circling you that well. That's uh, really it when it comes to stats. Uh, by the way, this is always available in the tech tree. It's always available. Uh, I'm current consumables, more on my basic adrenaline, multi-purpose, and repair kit, provisions. These two stack milk and uh, extra combat rations stack, and always run improved fuel. If you don't have the credits, just don't run any. Ammunition, you can see, you can do 500. They buffed not only the penetration, but also the alpha, and they didn't even nerf the reload. So you can do up to 500 damage high roll with your uh, standard shell, which is insane. And so I'm running a bit of HE, because that HE with uh, nearly uh, 625 alpha can be monstrous. For a quick, you're going to run calibrated shells, because 10 extra penetration is amazing. You're going to want to run enhanced gun length drive and vertical stabilizer. I will say, this gun is very snappy. You can just turn around and pull the trigger, and you'll probably go in. Defense system, enhanced armor, and definitely toolbox. I'm probably gonna run camouflage net because of uh, that. Improved control so you can get that extra near up to 50 degrees a second so you can just turn around really quickly. And I'm probably gonna go with high speed tumbles so they last. Night. Now let's get into the gameplay. So we're heading into the battle. We're on uh, New Bay, which is the but I don't know why they need New Bay. But so I'm gonna push uh, TV medium tank. This is a pre-7.4 update, so my penetration's not as good, and just kind of like everything's a little bit worse. So I'm going to push up into, uh, trash again. So I'm going to push up here, <laughs> and so this is probably the best location to buy. You're like, am I going to get spots off from that? You see what those little, uh, like, blockers are? You can get, you can spot through that, and it actually gives you a tiny bit of camo. So I'm like, being very cautious, I'm like, where the heck? So I start to see, okay, I'm like, okay, that's a light tank. And so I'm like, why would a light tank be on heavy side? Which means probably their entire team there. So I'm expecting to get some spots where he's spotted here. I look back with the I'm like, oh, this shit. And so I'm going to keep moving up. And this is really the match showing how good the big alpha is. So I see that twister, and I just auto in the auto aim. So he's on 773 now. Not for much longer he will be. So I'm gonna pop my turn. Like, okay, I can definitely have the DP in this guy. You can clearly tell this guy got it from crates. I actually found the shot there. Very 
very troll. So now I'm being very cautious. I can see, I can see this game still up. Tiger B. So you just see where this absolutely monster is. It's like kind of like you can see just and we get like 400 hit points. They feel strong. They feel good. 400 hit points is still a lot at tier seven. And no. And so here is going to be a really annoying from outside uh, reasons. I'm like that for him. I could probably just left him. And so I'm just trying to maybe be a shot because I don't know if he spotted me yet. And so now I see my friend Lizard deciding to push. I'm try maybe push him up inside. He's you. He's an SU. C49 gets him. And this is where an annoying thing, a very annoying thing happens. Look. Push up. I don't get fired. I can really be aggressive now. And I can see him below premium. And guess what? My phone has a 20%. My god. It's a dead thing. So I'm just gonna put this because I can see people looking at me. The eye is that one's going to a pretty good game. And so this is probably a good game. I'm gonna I don't got a second class, you know that kind of thing. So now it's gone to the conclusion. So in conclusion, this has to be probably one of the best bang for your buck tanks you can currently get, uh, always get, I mean, I think it's about, I don't know how much, I honestly don't remember how much it is. It's probably, uh, oh, why do I have all, I have all the tiers. I have all the tiers. So it's gonna, this will come into stores for maybe 10 bucks. This is worth $10. It's fast, you can bounce a lot of tier 7s and tier 6s, some tier 8s, as you can see, I bounce like 16 one shot from that RU. But honestly though, this is one of my best win rate tanks, I, have, I think I have like a 67% win rate in this tank. And so, I think this is probably one of the best tanks you can currently get. Alright, that's gonna do it for me today. Stay healthy, stay happy. See you guys later.